Hey everybody, uh, happy Monday. I hope uh, I hope your beginning of the week is going well. Uh, I just wanted to make a follow-up video on the Satine Fime. I just wanted to make a quick uh, update video on the Jameson Stone Satine Phoenix uh, allegations. Um, it seems that information about this has kind of quieted down. Uh, and I hope that isn't indicative of um, forgetfulness. Um, I really think that these, these issues should not be forgotten. Um, there needs to be some kind of, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not vindicating or, or I'm not suggesting in any way, shape or form that they should be, um, canceled or fired from any position. Um, I think that blanket apology statements don't mean and don't do anything. Um, it just allows people to say, Hey, I screwed up and, um, all is forgiven. Uh, I don't think that is necessarily wrong. Um, but what I do think is people need to be held accountable for their, their actions. Um, here we can see at the, uh, apotheosis studios blog, uh, that Jameson stone has resigned as CEO. Um, they write as a company, our goal is, and always has been to create unique content and storylines for role-playing and tabletop games that allow for a safe and respectful gaming environment. Due to the issues that have come to light, Jamison Stone has resigned as CEO effective immediately. We will not tolerate Jamison's actions within our company or with the contractors and consultees we work with. The executive team at Apothis apotheosis <laughs> studios are discussing the matter internally and we'll update you with an official statement and decision of company matters as soon as we can um so far i haven't seen specifically anything about this but apparently 22 people have liked it <laughs> um that's that's all well and fine but i'm i'm very curious if this was their um, decision or if this was a joint decision with Jameson Stone because he knows that his company is going to uh, basically go through the ringer for these allegations that he's that he's uh, he's currently going through and if I remember correctly this th this studio was um co-created by Jameson and Satine. So to me, this just seems like, well, he's stepping down as CEO. What influence does he still have over this company? Um, whether Satine be on it or not. Just because he's stepping down or resigned as CEO does not mean that he's actually leaving the company. Um, although they say here um, that uh, uh, due to the issues that have come to late, Jameson Stone has resigned as effective immediately. And they will not tolerate his actions with our company. That That is just, I feel like that's a lot of media placation speak. Um, and I don't think that really necessarily says anything about what they or he has to do with the company still. Um, they have some updates on the book, uh, the books and the writers. Um, they say, uh, we have received many questions about what will happen with this project in the light of recent changes at Apotheosis Studios. It is currently our intent to finish the book and fulfill the pledges that we received. 
We will be working over the next few weeks to assess our options and establish new timelines. We will update everyone as we have more information. To address some of the concerns and claims about riders not being paid, we would like to share with you a breakdown of what has happened. First and foremost, all riders who have submitted their invoices as instructed to our accountant have been paid. Payments started in March 2022, and as new invoices are received, we process them promptly. We had the following number of contractors working on this project. Riders, 22 riders paid 10 cents per word. So that's pretty good. Um, as far as I, as far as I, when I was looking into writing, um, it was five cents per word. So uh, 10 cents per word, it's obviously, it's double. <laughs> it's got to be better, right? Um, they have some artists, uh, two, which were paid monthly. A graphic designer paid monthly. Uh, layout artists paid monthly, even when not working on a project. Interesting. Uh, musicians paid promptly per song. And a sculptor paid promptly per sculpt. Uh, the Sirens writing deadline was October 31st. Approval passes started in November. Unfortunately, the approval passes took longer than expected, which pushed out approval for the contractors to bill by three to four months. Billing authorization was issued on March 2022, and we promptly paid all invoices properly submitted to our accountant. We have recently learned that some writers had sent invoices to the wrong email address. This has been addressed and they have been paid. Additionally, there were also some writers who, for reasons unknown, never invoiced us at all. Any writer who reaches out to us will be paid once we receive an invoice per their billing procedures sent to them at the time of approval. Why would you as a writer not <laughs> invoice? <laughs> You want to get paid, right? <laughs> invoice your invoice your your work. Come on. Um, maybe it was because of him. Maybe it was because of uh, Jameson Stone. Um, for this project, we provided templates for adventure chapters with a eight thousand four hundred and fifty words max budget. Interesting. Okay, nine of twenty two chapters were over word count. Four were over by one thousand words. One by wow. 3,700 words, two over by 4,750, and one over by 7,000. 7,000 words. These people know that they have an 8,450 word count, and they were over by 7,000 words? Okay. Uh, despite the fact that many chapters were over the word counts outlined, the writers were paid for the overages after appropriate approval. Writers whose writing was not used were still authorized to bill us and were paid 10 cents per word. The majority of the book was written by Rick Haynes, Pat Edwards, Rob Weiland, uh, Megan Mackey, along with writing and editing by Satine Phoenix and Jameson Stone. We will continue to update you as we have more information on what the future of this project will look like. Thank you. So Satine is an editor for this company. So I would not be surprised if Jameson Stone uh, is still involved in this, any, any projects coming up. Um, I mean, it's her, it's their company. I'm not saying that she should leave, but I'm just, I'm more curious about what, um, his role is going to be if he is actually out and if she's working with the company and they're in a relationship um like they're obviously still there he's still going to be involved somehow right hey guys thanks for watching this video if you like what you see and you want to see some more hit the subscribe and the like button uh there will be more news to follow if there is any news to find. And uh, until then, we will talk to you later. Bye, guys.